Hi guys, so I wanted to show you guys how I would style um, a couple pieces, especially as we're rolling into autumn. Um, I just have here how we would style a piece like these pants. Um, I love them. These are one of my favorite pieces of pants. These are one of the few pants that I actually have and own in my wardrobe. Um, they're just some striped pants I think I got at Charlotte Ruse. Um, they were completely inexpensive and um, I love them. Today I have them styled with like a button up tee that I think I also got at Charlotte Ruse. It has a little tie. It's kind of like a wrap shirt like I'm the queen of wrap stuff and white tees so I have a lot of white tees in my closet like several too much um so these pants I'm not sure if you're seeing but the legs are kind of flared it's that flare leg pants and give me one second I style these I have these styles today with these shoes um, I think I also got these shoes at Charlotte Ruse. They're just these really nice, um, pumps with, uh, like golden heels. Did I just say pumps? I mean, strappy sandals with like golden heels. And they're, they just give that nice umph of height and really bring this outfit together. And I wanted to keep my skin a little bit more natural today because I did have a herring today for my license and thank god it went well i don't know what i would do without driving and um i paired them with this cute little earring that i think i picked up at roses really cute so that is one way i would style these pants and i absolutely positively love these pants they have actual pockets that work um I just love these freaking pants. I think they're like so cool. They hug me nicely, cinch me in, and I love them. I love them. So I'm going to put another outfit together and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this next outfit is like more of like a, I don't know, like a Halloween party kind of you don't want to get dressed up but you're you want to get dressed up for Halloween you know like something just nice and cute that you can just throw on not look like you are rebelling too much but just something nice and cute to wear to a Halloween party or any party at that I mean I like this shirt it's from pretty little things as you can see the tag's still on there I haven't worn it yet um it's nice and cute it's off the shoulder so you can show a little bit of decolletage i paired it with these like minimalistic looking earrings that are gold i would do gold hardware to go with the orange i'm wearing like a push-up bra that i got from walmart and with this i would still wear um these shoes these shoes would go well with it um if you're looking to you know just tone it down a little bit not be too bold um i could also pair this outfit with give me one second okay so these are a little bit dirty now but i mean because i just i wore them the other day um but i could also like pair uh this outfit with this shoes it's just like a really nice white statement heel i love the chunky heel that it has um giving a little bit of toe action it straps up it would really look cute with this outfit and i would totally wouldn't mind pairing this with this instead of a black one just to make a more a bolder statement if that's what i'm going on with i don't know i'm running out of breath guys i don't even know <laughs> why but yeah i would totally um pair this for a statement or the black shoes just to like tone it down a little bit just a little bit more classic a little bit more you know it's it's all about choice but either of these shoes 
would work for this outfit and I love it um the little ruffle detail here kind of cinched in the waist to make my waist look a little bit smaller as you can see I'm a little bit more curvier these days um so you know a little bit of cinch in the waist I do not oppose to um it's a cute outfit I like it um I don't know what to say I'm sweating like a beast and then I just went with like glossy lips as you can see I'm not wearing any foundation I'm literally just wearing my skin a little bit of mascara and my brows and instead of a red lip I would pair this with like a nude what I did was use um color pops uh cloudscape with color pops tight fit metallic um, and these were like they worked well together with pulling off this look and I liked how it looked together so yeah I like this outfit I would totally wear this to an outfit with my wine glass in my hand or my champagne uh, it's cute it's cute and I definitely love the flared arms that like it just makes me feel in my element, like bohemian, minimalistic, glam aesthetic. Um, yeah, I just feel like this is right up my alley and I would totally wear this outfit. I'm actually going to wear this outfit uh, at some point during this season. So, yeah, I um, love this look. And... I like how even though I'm wearing a bright color and like striped pants, they're not clashing together because the stripes are actually going a long way to elongate my legs and my curves and stuff. And then this detail here just kind of pulls everything together. So I um, absolutely positively love this outfit, darling. Love. So we're gonna move on to the next outfit. Okay guys, so this is look three, I guess, and my last and final look. This is like the glorified Latino, Latina aesthetics. I was gonna change my earrings out to something a little bit more textured, like, um, I was gonna change my earrings out to these ones. To these ones you know just a little bit more reflection but I forgot until just now just this moment so oh well um, these earrings will work anyways because it's like gold and it's like bringing out the colors in my complexion on my lips I used color pops Ariba and Creeper. Um, Ariba to line my lips and Creeper to add into the middle. And that's what I'm wearing on my lips. Now with this outfit, as I said, it's like the glorified Latina aesthetic with the bold red lip, the hair up in a ponytail, the dangly earrings and like the puffy um, sleeves and off the shoulder. Um, I love this look. I love this aesthetic. This is my aesthetic. Um, this I would wear in winter when nobody else wants to wear anything off the shoulder because everybody's cold. I would then toss on my patent leather jacket over this. Um, you know, just like looking all cute and stuff. I mean, my makeup is all over this, but you know what I mean? Like looking all cute then I would pair this outfit with these shoes high boots keep you warm just a little kitten heel nice and stylish this is what I would wear with this outfit um, I think it's 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 making a statement with the off the shoulders and the striped pants and the boots and even though these are all like bold pieces that would stand out because we're working with like a color palette that's pretty much neutral everything would work well together and um it's hot in here 
and uh, come together very nicely. And this is for more like fall because I know every time we think about fall outfits and fall makeup and fall, whoops, and fall anything, we want to think about like dark colors and vampy colors. I, I think you can still wear bright colors. I think you can still wear white. I think you can still wear whatever you want to wear, whatever is in your freaking closet. Just like, you know, style it differently and try to give a pop of color like I'm the kind of girl where I want to wear bright colors in winter I'm I, I I'm not going to buy a whole new wardrobe system just to facilitate winter of course I want dark clothes because the dark always bring more warmth and it attracts more heat and we want to be warm in winter but I mean a little bit of a little bit of um color never kills anybody and you can always add color to your outfits with like a bold lip or bold nail polish or a toenail polish or a bold earring or like a hair tie or something just to pull an outfit together um i've always loved fashion i grew up with one of the biggest fashionistas in kingston city at the time and she was my aunt Kelly like she was the asylum night the asylum nightclub um queen like a dance hall queen type thing and I would stay up at night um watching her get ready and helping her like she would say oh go look for my liner or pass me the baby powder so that she can modify her face and like I I just love fashion my mother my mother's sense of fashion was a little bit more out there like my mother basically wore like spacesuits like my mother would be in like full leather um, skater skirt and like a top something like this with like sleeves just looking like she's about to get on a fucking spaceship and just leave the fucking planet like seriously she had these outfits in several colors like I remember she has a white one a black one a red one and like a metallic looking one and I used to be so fucking embarrassed because when I would go out with my mother on like big events like Christmas events and and she would wear these things out I was I was like oh my gosh but now that is my fucking aesthetics and my aunt on the other hand I'm just giving you guys a little bit of style history and where I got my style from and who inspired me as a stylist well as a person and their style um, my aunt that I absolutely adore and love Nicole um, her style was more sporty and very like preppy and very um, business but cute you know very corporate but with uh with her own little distinctiveness of what that meant and those three women kind of kind of um influenced my style growing up and then i love people um in the style world like kendall jenner like i fucking love her style she is amazing um rihanna back in the day was my style icon i'm not sure how i feel about her style right now i know it's evolving into like a more matronly lady and businesswoman but i like the fierce rihanna like i like that clean line um pressed prepped uh pull together look i like those clean lines look um, and I love a bold lip. I love earrings. I love good hair and I love good nails um, So I don't want to make this any much longer. I just wanted to share some uh, Style tips with you guys as I say in my previous video if you haven't watched it go over and watch it I was basically doing a get ready with me um, Makeup video and um yeah, I just wanted to, um, I said um a lot guys, like bear with me. I just wanted to come on here and just like share some tips. Uh, I don't know if I'm sharing tips. I'm just showing you guys how I would style these pants because, I mean, people would think that they're hard to style. Look at my big fat ass. Oh my God. Um, 
people shy away from them and if you do have a piece like this in your wardrobe and you're like how the hell am I gonna wear this like what am I gonna wear this to and you're considering throwing it out but you might have spent a couple dollars on it and you don't want to throw it out I'm just kind of giving you guys some tips on how you could style it so without any further ado like comment and subscribe if you will and stay tuned for my next video ta-ta <laughs>